Okay, welcome back to the Ethereal Plains, everybody, where I'm about to fucking murder these idiots. But let's get shit underway. Uh, I am your DM. Find me everywhere. Stated multiple times before this. Uh, oh, I thought we weren't going to do intros anymore. Eh, oh, I, eh, moving on. <laughs> hey, I'm the Storm Mage. I'll be playing Gun Gear. I remember this is it. I'm a dragon. Voicing Gypsy today will will be Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> As a goal. Oh, that's a good Yes. Can't go put it on. Okay. Moving on. Before I shoot you. I'm play as just shoot Galahad. <laughs> Galahad! Drops a boulder on him. Alright, moving on. I'm sorry. I'm Cat and I play Liar. She's a sorcerer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Best in charge. play Warlocks. Uh, preach to the choir, woman. <laughs> okay, that's not true. I play one warlock, but I only play in one other D&D game. No, that's not true either. I also play a goblin monk, but I haven't played that one in a really long time. I have all the characters. I have all the races. I have all... Anywho, moving on. Azamar. Who is being very quiet, and we have Ravik, who is also being very quiet. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kitsun Ursa. Uh, I'll be playing Paul, the Wild Magic Sorcerer, Tabaxi. And Hello, I what? Am... <laughs> I already introduced you! you <laughs> I was gonna do it. I was just thinking of a good, funny intro. Jeez. Give now I don't shit. feel like it. <laughs> uh, okay, rude. Fine, I'll say the intro I thought of. I'm Mustache Tom, and I'll be playing Ravik. I got 99 problems, and Morgan just might be one. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> then we have Dragon, who exists. I need him. It may be probably the problem. Welcome back to the Ethereal Plains. Uh, last time where we met our questionably favorable heroes, they have been looking for quests, did some shopping, and now they're about ready to head out on the open road to quick old deliveries and meet some peoples. Oh, yeah, their first major task is to go to the throat of the world and meet Titanius Thunderfist. Mm -hmm. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> I will fucking stab you. Be gone, throt. Oh, I have to do it. <laughs> do you think Titanus Thunderfist has a uh, <laughs> has a cousin with really strong forearms named Titanus Thunderwrist? No, I think he has one called. No, I think he has one called Titanius Thunder Die. Hmm. Alright, where, where, where's the one character I need to find his sheet? Alright, there you are. Quick, everyone, hide my character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> or he oh, by the way, uh. To let people know. I'm assuming that hits everyone. <laughs> by the way, really quick. To let people know, uh, Mr. Venom forgot to introduce Hell, the Death Goddess. Yeah, she she's in the files. I'm a lazy whore and kept forgetting to add her. Oh, then you got it twice. She's here too. So there's Death Goddess. Ooh. Ooh. Spoopy. And then we have. 
one of childhood friends of Paul. Okay. When you first Eric, told me Eric about to the Schnee Dust Company. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you first told me about how I originally pictured Yzma. <laughs> Anywho, moving on. We're in Valentia. We are You got carts for shit. Right? Of your we like all carts carted and up? shit ready. Yeah, Gungir and uh, Azamar went to go grab a uh, uh, a wagon. <laughs> the courts and a horse. You do that. Me and Paul. Got and now you crazy. basically all reconvene at the docks. Me and Larry got groceries. And I return with a bunch of magic shit. Oh yeah, you got. I got fifteen healing, greater healing potions. Two healing ward staffs, which I don't know what that is. There are staffs that say words that make you feel better. And no, wards, not word. Oh, I don't know that. Venom, what was that spell? You said it was healing ward, but I was unable to find it. He was pretty tired when he was typing that. He might have just meant word. Uh, I said you... ward. Okay. So what is healing ward? is, I believe, a 60-foot line-of-sight healing spell that does... Oh, you mean mass healing? healing? A mass healing word? Mm. Kind of. But a single target. Does, I think, 3d8 healing plus capture modifier? Is it, uh... Yeah, here is... And then you also gave me a spell called Greater Healing Ward. That which is add additional 2d8 to that. For a I might need okay. you to write that down for me. Because I'm going to fucking shit. forget to add that. Sturm. Sturm Age. Spick. Storm. Oh, there we go. Uh, the moment they get back, Gungir was going to uh, hand off the latest invention over to Liar. He's going to waddle on up with his uh, little bag and he's going to hand it on off to her. What is the... Okay. <laughs> she just sort of takes it and holds it and it's just like not knowing... Do you want me to <laughs> He's going to excitedly he's going to see if he can remote control this with his gun droid. He is going to hit the backpack function to turn it into a dodecahedron. Wait, it turns what was it before? A backpack. Oh, and then it just turns into a weird thing and she, she, she's like, ah, and she drops it. <laughs> And he will start flipping a bunch of switches on it to show her that it turns into different things like, let's see here, like a stove, a fridge. It's got dry storage, got storage for spices, wine, cutlery, cookbooks. It can turn into a sink, which is awesome. She stares at this transforming thing completely agog. <laughs> Why well, call, well, call it the Kiob? Is it? What is it? It's a kitchen in a box. Except it's not really a box. It's more like a more like a twelve-sided object. That's sometimes also a backpack. That's that's amazing, Gunke. Did, did you make that? Well, once again, we had to commission it. As you are paid for, but I dropped the schematics in. One random guy made it for us. I don't remember his name. That's incredible. His name was... It'll be very useful. Shmimmy. His name was Shmimmy. probably Shmimmy. 
Right around that time, um, uh, uh, Glad catches up. Um, he's carrying a mountain of like groceries, like brown paper sacks, like a like an eighties movie. Like he's just got like a mountain of things that he's carrying. Yeah. Please tell me that one of the bags is in his mouth. Yeah, yeah, and like one is like bad. One drops and he balances it on his foot and. You have like, two on your horns as well. Yeah. <laughs> where, where do what? I? Uh, where do I put all this? Uh, is there room in this thing? I guess. It's like the one guy who, who goes out with girls to shopping. Gun gear will start flipping a switch on it. It's got dry storage and refrigerator storage. And he's like, yeah, I can, I can store a ton of stuff. I mean, it's basically a bag of holding, but it's a cube. Except it's not, because a cube has six sides. And this has twelve. Uh, basically picture a d12. Uh, add a character, um... It says my connection server has been interrupted. Is oh, anyone yeah, else? Yeah, mine did the same too. thing. Okay, just making oh, sure. I have not also seen that. Uh, World 20 might be having some issues. I've not gotten that issue. So. Here we go. Reloading, determining scale size. Uh, yeah, I, I think there's like some connection issues with Roll20. They might be doing some maintenance or something. There we go. Possibly. But yeah, basically, Liar, this is a bag of holding. Um, or in back in backpack form, it functions as half of a bag of holding in to basically accommodate all this stuff. Yeah, so Liar will start loading up the refrigerator and the storage with the bags. Whoops. Wow! Alright, moving on to Fall. Fall is coming back with like a large uh oh god, what is it called? A uh, burlap. A large burlap oh, sack oh, full shit. of like the potions and uh uh, magic items and the sending stone. And just whistling coming back. <whistles> oh, hey, guys. <laughs> hey, fool! What you, hey, fool. Got your, what you got in your bag? Did you get those potions I asked for? Oh, did I? Puts the bag down, shows the 15 potions. <sighs> and I got a few extra items as well. <gasps> shows the sending, sending stone and the healing ward staff. <gasps> Sticks and stones! Fantastic! Gungir will... Apparently this is supposed to... to heal us in case oh. we don't have any potions. Paul oh, out of spells. <laughs> Gungir will I start to get... Oh. One person at a time! Use the system! Oh yeah. I'm bad. Gear, you were first, anyways. <laughs> Boop. Uh, Gun Gear will start to grab boxes from the uh, storage on the ship, and he'll start to kind of load them up onto the wagon. And he'll store, he'll start to store stuff in there, like the um, like the potions and the staffs into one box. And he'll just try to get the cart as neat and orderly as he can. Okay, sure, you do that. <clears throat> Uh, the sad thing is, all of these items did deplete the money that I grabbed from for us. Essentially, spent nine hundred on everything that he mentioned. I mean, we have a pretty big sum as it is. That's not like you're missing any money. Moving on to Rick. Um, Ravik, Sean? Uh, is there a connection issue? No, oh, no, we, I can hear you. Oh, I can hear you. Uh, that's weird. Anyway, uh, it's up now. Ravik will return with his sneaking suit on and the tux on his shoulder. <laughs> what with the fancy threads? 
It's for dating purposes. Oh my. Ball raises an eyebrow at that. Eyebrow proceeds to go into the stratosphere. <laughs> dating purpose? Gun gear. Yeah. Gun gear tilts his head to the side. Aren't you supposed to wear the gimp suit after you've dated her for a while? What? <laughs> oh god, you had to say that. <laughs> well, I'm just here. Yeah. I shouldn't be surprised. I'd wax gunk here upside the head. The head and says bad. Yeah, ow. <laughs> By the way, since uh, Ravik destroyed our last sending zone, I decided to procure a new one. Shows the sending zone. Did you make sure to get the one with our limited arcana data? <laughs> I tried, but there was n they only sold normal, normal arcana data. Oh, that's how they stick ya. You gotta get the adventuring party plan. <laughs> <laughs> That's into a fucking ripoff. Oh, wait, no, I have a perfect meme for this. Welcome to a Skorizen Wireless. How may I help you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, I really enjoy that. Scrying okay. orb, who this? <laughs> Scarice and wireless. Okay, I'm actually writing that one down. I like that. Oh, that's fantastic. Hey, son. All right, moving on. <laughs> Welcome to AW and W, Arcana Wizards and Warlocks. There we go. Okay. Gunger's gonna do a head count. We got Ravik, we got Dragon, or we got Azamar, we got Fall, we got Glad, we got Kitty Cat. He's gonna look at everyone. We ready to head home? Yep. I guess so. Gunger's gonna pull out his um his zero wand, point it at the sub, and you see him just push a button and from the sub you hear boop boop. Oh. All right. <laughs> they somehow put up the electronics before the entire hall is built. Sure. It's not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> Good news. <laughs> Good news. They got the locking sound function. <laughs> well, it's no it doesn't it. fly yet, but it's, it's still can it's, 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 it's a suppository. <laughs> Good news. <laughs> it's a suppository. All right. So who takes the reins? Gun Gear can't legally drive. I guess I'll drive. You, you have your own. You basically you take a like a. It's not legal in this dimension. You basically just take a ferry back to the mainland from where you are. <laughs> mm. A three-hour tour. Literally, because that's that's how long it takes to travel across the water from back to the north. If we get stuck on the island, does that does that mean a Gun Gear is Gilligan? Don't get that reference. No, I'm just Gilligan's Island. I'm the professor. Here we go. Okay, so I got the map ready. Onwards and outwards, oh, yeah. gentlemen. To be, f to be fair, I could see Gungir saying, saying "little buddy" to uh, Glad for some reason. Mm -hmm. Anywho, Ironic. moving on. You take the ferry back to the mainland, and you now we're at the mainland. Three hours later, and you're just unloading the cart now onto the shore. And they're in regalia. Now you gotta go to the Road of the World. Throt. We'll fucking murder you. Route? <laughs> oh my. 
I like that fucking dragon's the only good child here. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, I just realized. I just realized on this map. Did you really make an area called Tem Village? It's Tem Village. As in, like, Tem Village from Undertale. I mean, that was kind of a know. reference. It's Tem Village. Just really tiny. <laughs> Hang on. So, let me roll for any possible encounters on the way. This M. Town of Tim. I need Tim to pay for cool First day, nothing happens because I rolled a natural one. Should we try and heal the bleeding canyon? Doesn't look like it's doing too good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, nothing happens on your travels. The second day, you see a traveling team see familiar, the traveling circus that travels around the continent. You run into those Fall guys. Tries to say, Fall tries to hide away from these guys, because last time he met them, he almost died. <laughs> Be fair, yeah, wasn't the same ones from the fair? Exact same group. You see them on the second day. They kind of like greet you, wave as they're traveling along. Stop. What they're doing? It seems like they're heading towards Regalia from where you came from. Nice. What you can tell, judging by their direction, as you look back from sitting in the back of the cart. Again, Paul uh, is trying to say away. You kind of just, like, hide behind now. the box. You're solid. <laughs> huh. Hide inside the box. Fall? Fall! Fall! <laughs> Moving on. Hey, you see a vast amount of the ring in one area. Mass amount of what? Just regular deer, like hundreds of them. No! They're just gathered a in the middle of the road. Like, they're just gathered along the pathway and they're blocking your way. Like, they're moving because they're grazing currently. Gungir's gonna roll a perception check, see if anything's a little off about that, because deer usually don't. Heard in those sizes. Does he know that? Wouldn't that be a nature check? Maybe he knows. Or a natura check. Natura check. I'll try as well. Fall will try to shoot these ears away. Shoot. shoot. Well, animal handling. Yeah, I'm not going to touch that, that shit anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with animal handling. I got thorn, that's all I need. Natural 20! <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you shoo a good chunk of the deer away. <laughs> this is not natural at all. To those of whom who even rolled low. You should are in a maximum herd of up to 15. Seeing I'm sorry if I was loud on that. Natural, a figure walking among these deer who has antlers attached to their head and they're about a 5 foot 4 and you see them sort of stepping towards the cart the small satyr girl basically a from waist up and like deer legs for the bottom half wait satyrs are male only hush boy let the DM tell the story the god says it's a female so it's female 
Oh yeah, you see this young-looking deer girl walk up to you, your cart. Who's playing PS4? Sorry, that's my brother. I didn't know... I didn't know... Ah, people of the forest had consoles. Uh. <laughs> your joke is terrible and you should feel terrible. <laughs> Sorry, I can resist. Go sit in the uh, corner. I'll deal with you in a second. <laughs> Thank you, Gun Gear, <laughs> for being the responsible adult, besides Cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gun Gear? <laughs> Gun Gear's gonna kind of turn and look at everyone else. Guys! There's something wrong with this deer. And he points to the satyr woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, does anybody in the it group speak Sylvan or Elvish? Uh, I can speak Elvish. I actually do, because Ring a Transla- Ring a Gungle Translate. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, wait, that's ring what we call the ring now. We call it Gungle Translate. <laughs> Sadly, um, no. Gungir does not speak Sylvan. Uh, greetings. Greetings, travelers. What are you doing in my neck of the woods? We're headed for the throat of the world in order to meet the Thunderfist dude. Oh yeah, yeah doesn't don't you speak Elven? I can, yes. He's speaking in Elven currently, which I is basically Sylvan. Yeah, it's just a different dialect. I'm not going to attempt to re- speak in English. This is Gungle Translate. <laughs> what why did you say? The greetings, travelers. What are you doing in my neck of the woods? Passing through, <laughs> mostly. Well, I apologize that it is in the way. I'll see if I can get them to move for you. That would be most appreciated. She nods and starts to she taps her staff that she's walking with and, and the deer start to basically red seas make a path down the road for you guys to pass through if they didn't there would be a, another type of red sea that's terrible <laughs> <laughs> go back to jail <laughs> I'm sorry. Bambi, I mean, no. Mama? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do a dark joke there. Hey, you're an awful person and you should feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> then again, my dark humor goes from zero to 100 real quick. Oh, no, same. That joke wouldn't... Knowing that you would have made the same type of joke as I would. Oh, I would have made something even worse. Something that might not even be appropriate for you two. A storm. Gungir is going to quietly waddle on up to uh, Galahad. He's going to motion on down for him to uh, whisper into his ear. I lean into Gungir. He's gonna kind of look over at the uh, at the deer woman. So, do you think she had like a really bad accident, or maybe her parents were like misusing the wild shape ability? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing! I, mean, I love that. Uh, I just her at my horns, which are like a giant mess, not that far from antlers, really. Maybe she's just born that way, dude. <laughs> You're right. Maybe it's Maybelline. It wanders oh away. God. God damn it. God I, fucking, I'm going to. I don't you understand. Before. That must be one of those things I'll get when I'm older. Mm. And uh, you say my joke. Okay. If you guys complain about my jokes... Keep cutting out, man. Me? 
Anywho, so that was the second day. Third day, third day. I'm getting my days mixed up. Oh, On man. the first day. Was there anything we should have asked her if there's any hazards or anything along the way? Might be a little oh, late now. You can ask her now. <laughs> I mean, you're not moving yet. You're still there. I mean, only me and uh, Asmar can ask. Yeah. I guess I'll ask her and say, um, do you know any of rumors that we should be aware of in our traveling? You seem to have many eyes and ears accompanying you. <laughs> she casually pats a deer that wall is by her. You chatter quite a bit, but much danger on the path. It's pretty straightforward to the capital city on top of that map. Funny thing is, even before I could, even before the translate ring, I had Elvish as a language I know. Uh, the only problem you might eventually run into might be rock golems or maybe even a few hill giants. Oh, we met a rock golem, didn't we? It was an interesting encounter to say the least, but I'm sure we'll, we'll be able to handle them either way. Thank you very much. Rock golems usually don't bother people. They'll look at you like, what the fuck are you? And then proceed to maybe investigate but they usually don't bother people unless if they're engaged. The hill giants are, on the other hand, are territorial. A longer route to get up there. I path about once you stop seeing rock golems, that's about where their territory starts. And it goes on for like a couple miles, so yeah. I'm not exactly sure how people are supposed to traverse the uh, with those guys looking about. When did I film meet the. Uh, what was the uh, Rock Owen's name? Urban. Huh? I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Corbin. Uh, yeah. So if Paul says, I wonder if we'll meet Corbin again. It's always it's a possibility. The golems like to migrate around this mountain quite a bit, regardless of season. And they like to make homes right in the road. But yeah, they don't give a rat's ass about anything. I accidentally blew one up. I'll actually um, keep a watch out in the future as we're out traveling on the road, just in case something like that happens again. Yeah, if, as long as you ask them nicely, they will usually move if they can understand you. Most of them will speak common, but some speak what we're I'm speaking, Elvish. Some do speak Celestial, some speak Dwarven. It varies. When they also speak Terran? I don't know what language that is. That's the language of Earth Elementals. Um, I'm not sure. It's a sure. primordial language. Second yeah, where you're still talking oh. to girl. <laughs> no, no, this is out of character. But yeah, they would. Hey, you know, moving on. You just be aware of the hell giants. They might attack if you go into their area. After that will take only about another half day's additional travel. If you decide to not take the direct path. I mean, Titania, to me, it sounded like you wanted to talk to us fast, so it might be better if we take the direct route. And if anything, the main road might be the safest anyways. She's telling you the side path is more safer because the main route has been invaded by these hill giants. Uh. Honestly, we're all level five. We could pretty much take care of the. And hill giants are like level 
our challenge rank three, I think, usually. But she didn't say how many there were. She said True. There were I'm just saying. I say main path because it's faster and it's unlike Titanius one does to talk to us sooner than later. It's your call. You have a 50-50 shot here. What do you guys think? My vote's for the main road. It's easier to move the caravan through. Everybody else's votes. So we have two for the main road. Let's just go the main way. <laughs> Forty will rule. Giants. Think everybody just follows suit. Yeah. Gun gear just goes where you guys go. All right. Well, majority rules. You're going taking the main route and risking getting attacked by hill giants. Have fun with that. You'll be fine. Nothing's ever going to happen that's bad. I mean, to be fair, sometimes the most funnest experience can't come at the most dangerous. All right, so the next day, or about a couple hours later, you start seeing moving rocks, like, as you're starting to... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> And no, they're not rock. rolling towards you. Like they're moving, like side to side, up, down, left, right, B, A, start. <laughs> <laughs> they're wiggling. Basically, migrating around these rock oh, shit, they, they vary in size, though. There's a bunch of small ones. Like there are small ones. Like they don't really pop holes. Basically, the small ones. So your car can bypass them. The bigger ones you usually have to either swerve around or just avoid altogether because they could part. Right. The biggest ones you just let them go first because they can obliterate the car in seconds. If you see one that's like the size of like a three story building that's just wandering through. Normal. She said there are rock columns. But it's they, just they a rock. They acknowledge you guys. They don't really bother you. What? Why do I roll? Thought you said. Thought you said roll something knowledge. No, they don't oh. acknowledge us. Oh. Keep mishearing me, man. You need to get your ears checked. No, I think it's because of the fact that uh, internet is ca causing it to cut in and out. Maybe we should have someone else host it since uh, Tom is hosting this. What? I certainly can't host it because it'll be just as shit because I'm on the same host side. My connection is stable as fuck. Okay, so let's let Cat host. Technical difficulties, everyone. I mean, otherwise I can. I don't know. I think the university Wi-Fi is all right. Now we'll see what how cats Wi-Fi will do first. So everybody leave, but cat. All right. There we go. I'm sure. Okay, we good? Yeah, so they don't acknowledge us. And they don't acknowledge us and see them moving around. They just... They're kind of curious. They don't really bug you. Uh, Cat was asking a question. So they're golems, not just like rocks that are scraping their way across the countryside. They're no, they're not golems. Rock golems. Like, they're made of multiple rocks. Okay. Oh, like like an elemental. Basically. Which an elemental and a golem are two different things, technically. Well, golems are just dude-made elementals. They True. still have an elemental spirit of earth inside of them. But they usually are made of a person's soul inside of them. 
and they are usually made with a specific goal in mind. No, golems. Yep. And they are usually made with a specific mission in mind. Moving on. Basically bypassed them. And one gets, one large one gets like really close to the cart and kind of like walks beside you guys for like a while. Just like occasionally glances at the cart, be like, and it waves like, I give it a very nice like, grinding wave. noise and it's cringy as it waves. Oh, hell yeah, Gungear waves back. I'll wave back. I have no problems with the stone golems, they seem nice enough. Fall just gives a casual wave. <laughs> then it starts to waddle off after a bit. After about an passing through this area, they start to decline in number. And in size. Er, they increase in size, but they decline in number as you progress up the map. But then the next hour, you won't seeing any more of these guys. Okay. And you eventually, after another hour, you don't see any more rock golems. You turn around and you see one gigantic one. Like, this thing is bigger than the three-story tall one. And it's just waddling... Gun gear will pull out the gun droid and snap a picture. <laughs> oh my god. It conveniently can... looks back as you're taking it the picture and it doesn't seem phased. Am I the only one getting like Sheikah tablet feels from I this shot her scene? Off. Well yeah, that's what it basically is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was established. I just imagine You're currently at a crossroad where there are four paths. You see the main path ahead of you straight ahead and two side paths, basically. Um, continuing um, towards place? Technically, um, it's a Shika slate, not a tablet. Mm. <laughs> Whatever. Uh. What he cares. I urge the horses to continue. Okay. Continue where? We're, we have a fork in the road. I continue Pretty keeping sure we watch. Going in the right direction. <laughs> Whiskey goes straight. <laughs> Which way is the right direction? Do we have a map? Straight, straight ahead, you schmo. Oh, yeah. Okay, sorry. Shank. Oof. You continue into mm -hmm. hill giant area. Let me roll for these guys. <laughs> I really wish one of you would learn to drive. I tried, but I couldn't pass the driving test. I probably could. I just wanted someone else to do it. Liar sort of like gives him a plaintive look. What? I Brian just assumed either gun gear or you would want to. Okay, finally, Jesus. After five hours, you see hill giants. I think want to is a bit of a strong oh god to his giants. Spec. <laughs> 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 oh god, giants! <laughs> <laughs> we'll kill you all. So, Why the fuck is Fall now, Angel? Fall? <laughs> I didn't mean to. What the fuck are you doing? Fall had a spontaneous <laughs> sex change. Hmm. Uh, my Wouldn't be the first party member. I was, uh... I had Fall on the ass thing, and I apparently didn't click out of it, so... I kept switching between characters, so, like, I can do this. <coughs> Whee! I am now all-powerful oh. goddess. They should really fix that, because I keep forgetting to. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. I'll fix that later. Got 
how Titan starts to play. Yeah, you see like a bunch of hill giants. Like you see like twelve of them. God, the lag of the drawing is so slow. I thought that was fixed. It was, but due to connection issues on roll 20. Gengar's gonna look at every boy. Yo, what's the plan here? Yeah, does it look as though they see us? He don't seem to notice you just yet. You are reaching like a plateau, and they're like on that same plateau. Looking so... to my spellbook. <clears throat> Rock, I don't think I have the particular spell. I don't think I have invisibility, which uh, Gun Cure has the invisibility ring. These only self, anyways. Yeah. Do we want to, like, cause a distraction, or try to sneak on by, or do we want to- Maybe if we stay really quiet, they won't notice us. Yeah. Your, okay. Describe slightly, like, well, for Well, giants are usually, like, uh, like, what, 15 feet, I think? 15 to 20 feet tall. Varies on how old they are. Like, what do I see? Like, like we're coming up to the top of this plateau. We're not there yet. But... You see a plateau, and, like, this is a large plateau area. Like, off about, eh, I'd say another mile ahead of you continues on hill. Okay. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm right. yelling at my sister. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. A huge size creature usually takes up 15 by 15 feet when in battle. Whatever. I was just, I was just trying to see if I could, like, darkness them or something. I mean, you could try, but there's so many of them that'd be stupidly hard. Yeah. Gun Gear is gonna pull on Glad's cloak, and he's gonna pull out one of his little concussion grenades. You're gonna mm. these That idiots. would be. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Question. Uh, how many giants did you say there were? Oh, yeah, a lot. Well, I'm not saying that uh, we attack them oh, directly. Glad. Oh, here's Glad the question. Looks here's at the, the grenade and looks at you, and Ten shakes speed. his head. Okay, so here's my question. Uh. Actually, I would need to roll fall noses. So, out of character, I know about giant society. Uh, with fall, know that like basically, if they're male giants, we're somewhat okay. If they're female giants, we're screwed. I guess roll knowledge with a, a straight knowledge check with disadvantage. Nineteen. Ooh. Um. Oh. Does it matter in terms of hill giants? They're kind of. No, actually, neutral. really does in hill giant lore. I mean, you see mostly males. You see one female that's smaller than the others. A fall kind of grows pale seeing the female. Oh shit! It seems like the female isn't really paying attention. Yeah, I know. Like she's but she's doing her own thing. No, the thing about female giants is that they are generally smarter and more crafty than male giants, so they're more dangerous. Maybe we could go around them? This is a fairly large plateau. This is like... Basically, look at your the screen and this is the size of a plateau. In terms of five foot squares. I think the best bet is to just hope they're friendly. <laughs> Mm. Oh, wait, there's a. I wouldn't bank on that. Carriage here. Gun gear. Everybody get in the carriage, dang it. 
What I'm thinking is, well, I can use my little... Okay. Hello, Block. <laughs> I'm using my... I could get away easy out there. Use my... <laughs> Use my grenade nitties to cause a distraction. Have him move the other way. Oh, uh, another idea. My daddy does it all the time with his potsy pants. I don't like this. One of us, one or two of us goes out and try to talk hmm. to these hill giants. I have to ring a Google of Google, Google. Translate and I can <laughs> and I can speak giant with it. Not a good option. Hill giants are completely irrational. We'll just need to find someone who looks just like a hill giant. Good luck with that. Sadly, I do not have polymorph, so that's not the option. I have a are they afraid of lightning? Um... That would be more of a knowledge check if you wanted to check that. Okay. I can assist him with I can assist him with an odds check to like recalls due to my roll. Uh then straight roll Let's see intelligence. Dang it, Galahad get in history, the cart. History, my bad. Oh history. Get what? Get in the cart. Look oh, up oh, sorry. the way. I, I didn't realize you meant like <laughs> with the things. There. <laughs> So, with that history roll, you know that hill giants are used to being to weather constantly 24-7, 365 days a year. Storms don't really bother them, unless if it's either a tornado, a hurricane, or a tsunami. Damn it, there goes my plan. A or, hurricane, huh? There's only, like... Really powerful storms are the only thing that like bother them. Oof! The if I had the apocalypse ring, one. otherwise they do not scare anything. They are very in terms of what they're used to. What, what were you saying about the distraction, Gungi? Well, I got these really loud boomy balls right here. I could chug them out away from us and distract them. How far hmm. away? I have an idea with that, possibly. I just remember this was a plan that my daddy used to f on me to great effect. The a, only thing, Gun Gear, kind of is have, you're kind of short and not terribly fast. I am. They could pretty easily fast. outrun you. I'm pretty no, fast. No, Gun Gear could still do it. Not this might be easier if he was riding a top thorn. I mean... Wait, does Gun Gear still have the invisibility ring, or did he give that to Liar? I gave it back. back. That's actually a good idea, though. Riding a thorn would make it faster. Uh, another idea also... And I will say this in character. Please do. Uh... Uh... Glad, Liar, do you have access to a spell mm -hmm. called... Thaumaturgy? Um, mm. Yes? Maybe? Uh, yeah. I don't know the names of most Can you make yourself sound do. louder with magic? Oh. Oh, yeah! No. <laughs> <laughs> what if we use that spell on, on your concussion grenade to make it sound louder? Gungir pulls out a zero on. Well, I can already do that. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Gungir quietly uh, beams a little red dot onto false chest. Oh, Try to catch it. I was considering yeah. either casting Shatter or Call Lightning. Hmm. Notice this out there. Gun they're gear. fairly far away. I'd say they're about like a hundred feet away. Gun gear will will give Rabbit a boop on the shoulder. You won't come with me and cause some chaos. <laughs> if it gets us to our destination, I'm fine with that. I'll help too. If there's chaos involved, 
you can call on me. Mm, that's keeping the majority of the party together. No more than two. Gungear well, gives Ravik a punch on the shoulder. Damn it. I really <laughs> want to go. Denied. Next time. I'm sure we'll have plenty more stupid encounters in the future. Let me draw some squares here. Ravik and Gun Gear bonding time. Let's go, best bud. All right, Ravik will, I guess, get in front of the carriage or outside. Would either of you like a May drama just in case? <laughs> Gun Gear kind of looks down at himself. Well, I don't think that would help me out very much. Ravik? Uh, forgot what that would do in terms of my character. Make your AC, make your AC total dex plus your dex. Dex. So my current armor class is 14. 14. I don't know. What is your dexterity? Uh, that's the big number I'm looking at, right? Four? Yeah, it would be 13. Oh, would no, 13 that wouldn't be. Class to 17, I think. Yeah, Ravik's AC would bump up to 17 with Mage Armor. Alright, then, yeah, good would go. She reaches nice. over and pats you on the head and Mage Armors you. Alright, Please don't get my... squished, you're so small. <laughs> Alright, they're all spread out now. This map is to scale by feet. Zoop! Oh, whoop, I zoomed out too far. There we go. All right. Bunch of blobs. Gun Gear is going to try to, like, stealth his way, like, between any rocks that he can or any little boulders. Basically get a mission impossible towards these guys. Yes. All stealth. Oh, I actually have some pretty good stuff in there. Come on, yeah! I've gone here and nice. cronk his way there. Are you cronk your way there? Da 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 da. He's doing sort of like the cotton walk from King of the Hill as he kind of dives between rocks. Oh God. So no, no, uh, knee movement at all. <laughs> You're basically penguining there. All right, Ravik, what's our cover story? All right, so uh, what I'm thinking is that we should make a path. Uh, let me get my ruler out real quick and make sure we can go directly this way. So what we need to do is push all of them this way to the right side. Alright. So lead them away from the cart. Is it? It's basically just a big wide open plateau with boulders. Not really any like forest area. Yeah, it's a lot of like random placed boulders. Like there's large boulders are scattered about and these hell giants basically set up like a large camp like alright so right, they I will oh sorry they have like tents and everything set up like cowhide tents and like a large bonfire in the center that they're sort of like semi gathering around okay okay on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one hell of a distraction, but it's cow eyed. Oh, what is good? Cows don't burn. Pardon I me. I mean, doesn't Gun Gear have grease? Uh, he does not. Let me see. Just wizard here. spell on the book. Wow, wow it's you also not Zero One, and you can't make it shoot grease out like a geyser. It can it can set small fires. What? It's a turkey baster. 
you definitely need to put a grease button on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> you never know when you need to grease something up. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. I abused grease on my one character. It was hilarious. <laughs> fireballs. Grease, fireballs. Constant so. death. Gunger's gonna pull out one of his little hand grenades. Well, I've got this. What are you planning on using? Well, if you allow me to go first, hopefully this might just do a little bit of... create a little bit of disruption. And what I will do is about, like, over here-ish, like, somewhat away, I will lift up my hand and perform Call Lightning. Ooh. Ooh uh oh That spell for me? He did. That's the range. Wow, it does have 120 foot. Okay. That's neat. I mean, it could hit the cowhide and burn it. Nah. Alright, so you just create a large storm cloud that just ground. Uh, let me see if they notice it. Oh, yeah, they notice. Notice. I'll look to it. You hear one go. Hey, what the hell is that? Is this actually in common? Uh, one of them spoke in common. It's very rough common. That's more like... Uh, it's more like pigeon English. The like bits and pieces are like... Very struggle to put together. Like... It's freaking Oscar from Hey Arnold. And On each of your turn. Oh, wait. This spell lasts for a while. Up to ten. Oh. And then it's. So, yeah, you have a constant distraction for ten minutes. Alright, so. Let's see. How many of them will go investigate it? I will roll a d20. Oh, nine of them, apparently. So wait, they're heading toward it? Yeah, they're gonna head towards the sound of where the lightning struck. Damn it. They have nine giants that are distracted by this one sound staying behind. Isn't that what we want? Is that like the signal? Am I supposed to go? Fall shrugs. Gun Gear is going to smirk real big and pat Ravik on the back. All right. Yeah. Nope. Yep, you enjoy that apple right there. Now, watch what I can do. And he will grab his Ring of Invisibility. And just to double check, does this ring of particular Ring of Invisibility we have have a time limit on it? It has the standard invisibility time limit. So, like, like one minute. One minute. Okay. I think that's how long invisibility has. Gun gear. Because I don't does... think it's a ten minute spell. Gun gear, I think. I think it lasts. Let's see. I know if you do an action, it disappears. Oh, invisibility up to one hour. Oh, wow. So you've got time. Time. Okay. Yeah, it's concentration, but said, oh god. But you also can't do an action with invisibility, it's a thing. When you yeah. attack or cast a spell. Yeah. What Gun Gear is wanting to do is he's kind of... He's wanting to run behind these hill giants and start running away from them while just dropping hand grenades willy-nilly, leading, like, this line of oh. just thunderous oh, explosions oh, oh, oh. behind him so that just have no... Like trip mines basically not exactly trip mines he's just gonna be cause these things just make a big loud oh, wow. noise and he's wanting to leave what? like a trail of noise just these like I'm... mystery noises sure what are those fireworks Roll. that are like a big string poppers and... they're invisible yeah. yeah the snaps that's what they're called I've always called them poppers 
And right, so he will also I'm be used to oh. draw where with small five foot squares on the map where you want these to be. Thanks, Snaps. That's what you're called. There we go. Uh, he will also use Thaumaturgy on the first couple of them, on the first three of them, to make them like super fucking loud. So he's going to do. Whoops, there, and then run, and there, and then run, and a little further down. Is that the You're same? leading it further away from their campsite, basically. Yeah. I want you to roll me a deception check with advantage. Ooh. Three of them, please. <laughs> Three of them? Yeah, for each individual grenade that you place. All right, where's me deception? Do you have advantage? And if you do not have um, proficiency, you get to add your proficiency on top of your roll. Oh, okay. Let me... Uh, for each roll three. only, this once. So, one... Team plus your shit. Two and three. Uh, so eighteen, fifteen, and eleven. Fifteen, eleven. Okay. I didn't see the third one. Third one hasn't popped yet. Up yet. Nine and eleven were the rolls. Hasn't popped up yet. All right. Let me roll insight for these morons with disadvantage. Mm, what's the wisdom of a hill giant? Negative three? <laughs> He's got a modified zero. So yeah, they're like, what the fuck is going on? Are we being attacked? You hear a bunch of the men yell, and they start running after these sounds. Hill giants have a minus one to wisdom. Don't kill the attackers! <laughs> they're being invaded! They're very foppish, oh. hill giants. I just realized, I just looked at hill giant stats, they have a fucking five in intelligence. Alright. They're barely sentient. Gungir will start to run even quicker, yeeting hand grenades behind him. Wow. Like the signal. Should I go? Alright, roll Jessica, each other deception with advantage. Well, I would say basically as soon as the ghost is like, the, there's a path. Oh, roll three of them? Oh, uh, no, only one. Oh, only one of them. That would have been six and fourteen. Okay. One is a natural one. No. The, well, was, advantage. Remember, he's invisible. Oh, yeah, true. Insight. Natural one on that one. <laughs> and another modified zero. Stupid. They just continue chasing after one until so you meet them like so far away that you just start running back. I will delete them off the map. Uh, let me see here. As his last... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> see, the losers were driving this cart to hell. <laughs> we suddenly went to... We suddenly went on a roller coaster. As Gungir's last hurrah, he will pull out his uh one of his newer uh alchemical items which is whoops oh come on here we go a smoke stick <laughs> and he will ninja oh, come on. he will like ninja himself away from these hill giants that's it See, liar. smoke bomb that's it liar give me the reins <laughs> you failed your test Liar's doing wonderful! 
I'm not used to riding a cart this fast. <laughs> I am. But most of the time I crash it. By the time right. Gun Gear gets back to the cart, he is like decked himself out full camo in shrubs and grass and is wearing and is holding like one of the dragon teeth as a knife and has toothpicks slung across his back. <laughs> you basically become Bear Grylls. What the heck are you wearing? I become a changed man, Fall. I've done things. Oh, I've accidentally created a square. Oh, and I've deleted myself. I just make a circle. Fuck. Gun gear deleted himself out of existence. As soon as gun gear gets in, Thal, Thal whacks him on the head. I attempt to stop him from doing that. Nope, you can't. Gun You're too far. Gun gear pulls out one of his hand grenades. Put that <laughs> down. And he just no, stares. He stares at Fall like, do it. <laughs> I swear to God, I will turn this car around. <laughs> there's a nerve, there's like a bead of sweat that rolls down Gungir's head as he stares at you through his grass beard. <laughs> Fall is giving you a glare as well. I'm gonna roll to see if he whacked you. <laughs> Even he does, odd he doesn't. Wait, what? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> he He's... Gun Gear grabs. He Gun Gear. Staff away. Gun Gear grabs the staff <laughs> as hey. he tries to hit him and pulls it away from him. It's like, no. no. Bad. No. What are you doing? I can't cast spells without this. This is mine. Stop fighting. Come back. This is mine until you earn it I back, boy. He turns and sees them fighting. It's like, kids, I will turn this card around. <laughs> kids, we're not going to McDonald's at this rate. Gungir stows the other uh, staff in his backpack. You'll get this back when you earn it back, pilgrim. <laughs> and he sit and he sits up front with Lyre. I'm just going to keep going before the giants you come can back. Squeeze. All right. So you so great. The next oh, it's day runs magic. by, and you are, are now seeing the peak of the summit. By the way, does fall give me or does Gungir get back to staff to fall? No, he's keeping it right now. You tried to hit him with it. Gungir's a changed man. He's been to war. <laughs> <laughs> Serious, Gungir. You know you just got rid of your sorcerer's only way of defending himself? Yep. And he's... That's what you have a party for. You'll get it back when the time comes, young man. Until you learn to play nicely. So the next day it runs by, you don't really encounter anything as you're continuing to travel up towards the peak. The road stops after a... Like, oh no, wait, I just realized I have a component pouch. We don't have a lot in terms of... I think you have enough to make at least one spell for component every pouch, spell that you know. We have all the components that you need. That's how Lyra does her stuff. Yeah, most components aren't actually consumed. It Anywho. specifically has to say if it's consumed or not. Anywho, moving on. So the pathway ends in the middle of the... Like, it just is goes straight into the wall, and it just stops. Is this road supposed to do this? Hmm. Uh. Does anyone have a map? Did we go the wrong way? 
Do we have a map? Investigate? Open up your world map and you are smack dab at the throat of the world. I look up. <laughs> I, I check the map. I think this is the throat of the world. I think it's the throat of the world. It might have been a typo. Ah, you're right. Maybe throat of the world. <laughs> oh, he put down a little space yeller now. <laughs> is the Thunderfist man supposed to be at the top? I don't know. Do we knock or something? You see it's just the pathway leading towards this rock formation. You have no idea how the heck to get into... Gangi. No. Gangi uh, will hop on down and kind of waddle on up to where the road ends. What do I have as a spell that could help with this? Does Gungir want to do? He's gonna look back at everyone. Well, when in doubt, you knock! And he'll tap uh, on a rock. Hey, he'll do here. shave and a haircut. Never mind. You, you go to knock on this rock and your hand passes through it. Illusion magic, of course. Gungir's going to keep trying to knock on the rock. It doesn't work. <laughs> Fall. You just keep phasing through the rock. Yeah. Fall. Fall freaking uses Mage Hand to tap Gungir's shoulder. Okay. How much of it is not rock? I don't want to run into it if it's not that much rock. Fall. Fall will use a Mage Hand to feel around to see where the illusion is. <laughs> Where the illusion 30 ends. feet across the entire base of it. Okay, I think I can drive it. Like, in a, like, half circle. So it's more like a bridge opening. Kind of. I mush the horses. Gangir, could I have my staff back now? Gangir slowly turns and looks at you. Promise you'll stop hitting us with it. Yes. Do that. Sorry, something my my teacher did. That's not a promise. That's an I will not hit you, okay? I mean, my teachers drank blood, and you don't see me doing that. Gungir will pull out the ca or the warp rod, and he'll wander on up the fall. Make him pinky swear. Gungir pulls out his gun droid. He quickly scribbles down on it, and he hands it off to Fall real quick. Shine below. <laughs> Fall, Fall looks at it. It is an agreement. It is a legally binding agreement that you will not smack him or Glad, lest you face legal repercussions. <laughs> Intense. You can't be serious. Oh. I used to it's run it. I used to run a store. I know how this works. I think it sounds highly appropriate. Fine, but I don't have a pen or anything to sign it with. Hands you the zero wand. <laughs> Takes it, signs it. <laughs> Makes Use it as a stylus. Yeah, basically. And I imagine I accidentally pressed one of the press digitation buttons and it makes it smell like something. Gungir checks Gungir checks the signature before putting it away. <laughs> and, he legit. and he tosses you back your chaos rod. Grabs it. Alright, we're, we're all legally binding now. I think that was too easy, honestly. By the way, Anywho. how wet is this cave? It's actually very wet. It, there's lots of torch sconces leading the pathway forward. <laughs> I was thinking the <laughs> same thing. <laughs> Ravik? Uh, I, was about yes. to say, I was interrupted, but I said, um, 
I don't think you deserve it quite yet, but whatever. Well, this is his last chance, I'd say. The next time I'll cast Reduce Object on your undergarments. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. An arcane wedgie. Capital punishment right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's cruel and unusual. But Wouldn't that be a mage hand? Nope, it's reduced person. It'll shrink your undie ruse down by 8%. Or by 8 times. Oh, that sounds painful. Basically suffocating you. <laughs> It'll be like a reverse thong. Mm. <laughs> Extreme thong. Anyway. <laughs> Moving on. So you continue down the pathway, and eventually you see a drop to the side, and what seems to be a gigantic coal spider in front of you. With ruby eyes. Coal as in, like, the the material? It, It blinks at you. It is a living coal spider. Who has the papers? Maybe this thing is a guardian? I hand the reins to Gungir and get into the cart and pull a blanket up over myself. I'm guessing she's terrified of spiders. (laughs) (laughs) Gungir does not seem hostile, though. It just looks at you. Gungir will look back at everyone. He'll look back at the. He'll look back at the spider. Hi. Uh. Okay, let me get into voice of this thing. Oh, this thing actually has a voice. Hello. What you today? How this are is the you? city of Menzo. Welcome to the what? city of Menzo? It has a longer name, but I am not computing the full pronunciation, so I shortened it. Good Fair for enough. you! You have entry papers to see someone here. Otherwise, I must ask Who that you politely papers, by the way? leave. Gun gear will pull out his gun droid and open up the picture of the letter, or the scan of the letter that he got from Thunderfist. And he will nervously hold it up in front of his face. The, the spider non threateningly offers one of its claws. Yeah, we'll go with claws. Men. No, mandibles. No. Well, basically, one of its feet forward, like to put the gun droid on the point of the gun. This thing's huge. This thing's like twenty feet tall and like thirty feet long. Gun gear nervously hands over his gun droid to the Titanic spider. <laughs> it moves. You see your gun droid like being like it has like barcode scans the screen. Yo, processing, processing, processing. Do you... These are valid documents, <laughs> and it offers the uh, droid back to see Titanius Thunderfist. At the your utmost convenience, you got here in vast amount of time. Yeah, we sure did. Still kind of nervously looking back at everyone. <laughs> Very well. I will in- <sighs> send information to his advisor, who will probably come get you guys when they are ready to receive your welcoming. Well, that's good news, because I can't legally drive this cart. So... (laughs) You may park it 
points down into the large city below you. This city is huge. Like, it's inside of the mountain. Oh. Lit up. Like, I'm going to show you guys the map of this city. Show to everyone. Wait. Holy oh. shit. This is an entire city built inside of this cavern. This is actually not the first time that Gungir's been inside of a uh, mountain city. Gungir You're currently at the oh. southernmost point oh, of this city. The so where the water is? Basically around that area. And yes, that is the spider, if you look. That thing is bigger than, like... For, for three city blocks. There's multiple of them. You see a lot of them, like, borderlining the city. <laughs> I don't want to be here uh, anymore. Uh, Gungir will drop the uh, reins. Uh, oh, let me... Sorry, let me do my... Problem with spiders? Whoops. Gungir will straight up drop the reins. He will hop off the cart and he will go running past the spider and just gaze at the city because this is bringing back memories from when he was an itty bitty homunculus. <laughs> Gungir has abandoned you all, by the way. <laughs> uh, Basically, he's standing right next to one of its legs. Uh, <gasps> Gungir, wait! Oh, yeah. Who's going to drive now? No, why or I probably will. I think Spider I points down below to a small building by the gigantic lake. I, I get in and there I where you can liar. park over there. Uh, I think I'm not, not eating us right or anything now. yet. Welcome to the city of Menzo. Please do not cause Sorry, any trouble. Sorry, out of commission. She's not doing any more drawings. <laughs> what? Uh. <Good> driving. <laughs> yeah, the spider <laughs> says you can basically park at that small pond, lake thing, does, and does give there us... will be into the city from there. All right. Asma, Rafik. Or can one of you try to? Uh, I don't think Lyra's in shape to. To look at me. Yeah, Asimar, I'll take care of it. I was about to say, if you want someone to try to drive, but probably crash it, I. Don't look at me. Again, I got it. <laughs> you manage to control the horses and you grab gun gear as you're going down the pathway. Hey. Just by the scruff. <laughs> You're just like, yoink! Alright, so you head down to a small... Actually, this is a ranch next to this large rate lake bit. Huh. Whoops. It's spacious. You see different livestock from all over the region in here. And you what see some... some nod their heads. It's like, okay, they're used to visitors dropping off carts and shit. See, anything that you have in the cart will be delivered to wherever you're gonna stay at in the city. Alrighty. So you can kind of, like, leave your shit. Oh, by the way, I don't think we ever divide up the healing potions. No, I mean, just... No, Gungir just... Later. Gungir just left them all in the one box, just so that w that way we could run and grab one, just in case we needed it. That's fair enough. I said so. You see a carriage, actually, with a carriage driver with um, labeled on the the card, just like like a chauffeur. And Does it say Uber on the side of the carriage? <laughs> it says Gopher Sensor Underground. 
<laughs> Thank you. Alright. So you see a carriage with your group's name on it? I have to ask, how misspelled is it? Is horribly misspelled. And I gotta <laughs> ask, uh, when people walk by and see that name, are they just like, what the fuck? Farmers aren't really questioning it. It's only like the livestock and the farmers that are like paying attention to this thing. The farmers don't pay any mind to the livestock or don't care. Important people, <laughs> they're assuming. That's definitely how they spelled it. <laughs> <laughs> It's no spoops. Did no Hundred percent. Oh shoot! It isn't us, guys. <laughs> Walks up to the, the, the person driving us. Excuse me, is this for Tint Newt Puku Robinson? Anyway, Ball walks up to one of the drivers and asks if this is for their group. Hold a minute, I'm typing mine. This is the one gibberish. Tit new be wheel coo su. Swall walk and see. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all one word. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it could just say TBW. Yeah, that's all right for me now. I just like the idea of this guy having, like, an official card, but then he has, like, cardboard taped onto the side to fill out the rest of the word. Yeah. <laughs> They're fine. <laughs> Like the. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it says TBW, and you. Uh, yeah, he acknowledges. Yes, uh, the King Emperor Titanius Thunderfest, His Majesty, requested me to fetch you. Okay, Jeeves. <laughs> My name is Albert, one of the <laughs> under his majesty. Did Albert have a stroke? <laughs> Do not yes! worry about me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Albert needs some fiber. <laughs> I do not need any fiber. Mm. 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 I assure you, I'm quite regular. Oh. Now, would you please all step into the carriage and you'll be delivered to one of the more prime estate in, uh, in the entire kingdom. Uh, real yeah, quick. Thank you very I kindly. Need I need to leave really quickly. Or okay. Restroom. Oh, bio break. Yeah, bio break. Yeah, everyone can take a bio break. Let me see if I got any delicious meak in my fridge. Nobody's gonna need to coax liar out of the cart. <laughs> <laughs> Or just carry her, I guess. <laughs> yeah. oh, she becomes a rag doll. She makes all the struggle in this. I'm just like. Whenever something is scary. Oh, she planks and focus. become basically oh God, a freaking. Uh, what is it? A anime body pillow. <laughs> oh, I, put, <laughs> I put a hen in. I put hen in front of her. Look at it closely. It's a baby bird. It is very cute. Stare at it, and it's I'm pushing hen into her face. <laughs> Stare at baby bird. 
all the world melts away. And there's only... Glass, your finger glad. Ow! I'm back. Because you were pinching its wings. So what's going on? Sorry, we took I give Nest I give him a treat. in your hair. <laughs> Just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, your bird basically nests in your hair, God. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Liar silently wonders about his hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> yeah. The way Jesus uh, dra- starts to drag you out of the cart, liar. <laughs> and as soon as you're out of the cart, you see a farm. No scary spider. He looks so nervously. See a bunch of goats, a bunch of sheep, cows, camels. I mean, what? Dead spiders. <laughs> you see a penguin. A singular a penguin. Break. What kind of And a bunch of guard drake, like, everywhere. Come on, dude. This is where they make penguin butter. Oof. There's <laughs> only one penguin, a singular penguin, out of this entire farm. Just one. I imagine it just walked up to Gun Gear for some odd reason. It walks up to you and just looks at you. Ah! Oh, it goes wink. 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 It's a. Uh, oh, God. What is that? Size you. Wink. <laughs> what is. A goose. A goose walks up. Okay. The goose grabs Azus. Oh! The goose is dragging Azus away. <laughs> <laughs> They're having a turf war like a monster hunter. What is the name of the from uh, Adventure Time? Okay. It's Gunter. 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 Yeah. It's Gunter. <laughs> yeah, Gunter is basically. It's not a gun gear. <laughs> it's hmm. Gun gear has a pet, I guess. <laughs> Guys, you this t- have to steal a weird black and white bird. Can I roll nature to see what this thing is? And Looks we up at you, liar. Whack. Can I roll <laughs> what this thing is? Since I imagine sure. none of us have seen a it's penguin. So tubular. Guys, this tuxedo bird's trying to Sixty. intimidate me. <laughs> it's a penguin. <laughs> Maybe is this genius? Is it's a penguin? What the fuck is it? No, wait, she doesn't say fuck. What the heck is a penguin? She doesn't say fuck. What do I know what? about penguins? What the fudge muffins is a penguin? Actually, no, because Born is actually in the northern end of the continent. It's more so I know they're like up there. So I know they're cold birds. They're cold birds in the northern end of the continent, like. They're it's birds that live in cold him. areas. Cold bird. It doesn't feel that cold to me. One cold bird. This is a very strange farm. It's nothing like my one back home. <laughs> what is the strange farm? Waddles up to you, liar. And it... Uh, what? It what? It sits on your foot. It what's my foot? It sits on your foot. Oh. Huh. <laughs> It didn't shit on your foot, it sits. That would be unfortunate. Parks its butt on your foot. Oh. Uh, um. I guess you have a new animal friend. Oh dear. Zeus growls at it. Doesn't it belong here? Most likely. (laughs) You know, Zeus growls at the penguin, and then the penguin proceeds to slap. Freaking Zeus. No, don't. Bad, 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 bad. And then they start, like, slapping each other, like. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I guess penguin stews on the dinner on the menu tonight. <laughs> Gungir tackles the penguin! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. Disadvantage because it's focused on Jesus right now. You mean advantage? advantage. Disadvantage for the penguin. Not. Two either way. Yeah! Gungir just Tackle saved Jesus. Random farm animals. <laughs> Fall's kind of leaning back and watching this. What animal is near him? 
see, uh, weirdly enough, a leopard. What are you looking at? Since it stalks you. Ball's like, oh my god, he's got native. (laughs) (laughs) What the heck? What are you doing? I'm going to pick Jesus up under the armpit to carry him to the carriage. What? Scrowling and what's sort the of roaring at in... the penguin. So very bad, very bad. No. In Zootopia, what's the term? Oh, uh, they've gone feral. Mm. They've gone feral. Gungir is going to shove him. Is going to shove the penguin away after he tackled it. That's what you get for slapping a baby. And he kind of kicks dirt into its face and walks on over to. Turns out this is a wow. penguin. I want to see your face around here again, you baby slapper. It slaps you, gun gear. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> now 20. <laughs> uh, what, what is that for? That is for a skydive off the uh, off the wagon onto another. You're going to you're gonna pile drive this thing? Yeah. <laughs> Slap gun gear. <laughs> no. Fall. No! Wait, wait, wait. Before, before he pile drives them, Fall is going to use levitate on gun gear to stop him in midair. The oh. tank gun. Get stopped in midair, gun gear. Like, <laughs> why am I not moving? Well played, penguin. Well played. <laughs> it holds up a singular fin. Wow. You assume it's flipping you off. <laughs> mm, ouch. This penguin is incredible. <laughs> I can't believe I wasted a spell slot on stopping gun gear from body slamming a penguin. I reach up and take gun gear by the ankle and then waft him into the cart or into the carriage also. <laughs> waft. Fall tries to go to the cart, but I don't know if the leopard is following me. It stalks you. It doesn't enter, but it just stalks you. I don't know why this thing keeps following me. Did you make a friend? I don't know. It's a really well, good well, I think we should just go and see the king and person. Is it weird? I've never been to a farm. I just know they've got animals. Usually farms have Many cows, chicken, pigs. Sometimes llamas. Depends what type of farm it is. Well, I've heard of a white, thing such as a cockatrice farm. Cockatrice. <laughs> <laughs> Most ridiculous of monster names. And it's a ridiculous monster itself. The fucking ch- snake with a chicken's head. In the abomination. Anywho, moving on, y'all get into the cart. Or carriage. That penguin had it coming. If it wasn't for me, you probably would have got us into more trouble. That penguin. Just a penguin. That penguin started it. He oh, slapped it. He slapped a baby. Probably, probably trying to see who's the alpha. Well, now it knows. Gun gears the alpha. Eh. I'm giving Jesus a light scolding. <laughs> His ears go down. He's like, "Sorry, mom." It takes three points of mom damage. Random fat bird things, just because they're a bit sassy. <laughs> it's it, he lays on your lap. Like a good. I give him a few pets, but not too many. <laughs> <laughs> Takes four Regulation. points of mom damage. <laughs> I was assuming you guys are all gonna get pets or something, but I guess not. I don't have any. Oh, we can't just steal their animals. Besides, I don't have any real interest for a pet. He is already a cat. What is that supposed to mean? 
I don't know, our cats never got along with other animals very much. It means he's its own friend that ignores himself. Well, cats are notably self-sufficient. I've already got the best Meanwhile, the cart has been moving for a while and you see like the outskirts of the city starting to approach. This farm is huge. It goes on for like... Gungir will excitedly be looking out the window like a giddy child at a candy store. Uh, you see large walls start to approach as you're heading into the actual city itself. He'll start to take pictures like a tourist. <laughs> Lower districts are very not really spacious. It's a lot of streets. Every is busy and bustling with life. If you actually Oh, you fizzled out there. Oh. Uh, where did I cut out at? If you actually dot dot dot. The if you look at the picture itself, you're about where the city starts to the of the lake. I can barely read this map. It's kind of blurry because it's tiny writing. Yeah. If I could hang on this, I would, but... I mean, Basically, you can always make the map appear on the screen. I don't know how to do that. Basically, you would drag and drop it. Here we go. Uh, create a new page. Title. No. Gun gear no, will to work. turn and look at the group. Once you upon a time, when I was in itty bitty gun gear, not even like a couple weeks out of the kiln, my daddy took me to a place just like this. Except these buildings were like all around the edges. Yeah, this <sighs> is not working. Hmm. That's alright, we get the idea. So you continue into the city. It's been like an hour carriage drive just to get into the city. That's how big this place is. After, I'd say, another half hour, you, the carriage finally stops and you see a rather large five-story tall building. The hell? The oh. door opens for you guys. Here you are, your place of residence. Emperor wishes to see you. Uh, okay. Wait, are we going to see the Emperor now? Or? Might as well. I do you have anything else you need to do? May explore the city. We will come fetch you all when. He is ready. He is quite a busy man. Fair enough. And the stay is on us, so do not worry about paying for board. However, if you wish to buy anything in the city... I hope you all have a great day. We will come get you from this establishment the time it comes. So be prepared at any in a, the next couple of days to receive audience with his majesty. Okay. Thanks for the info, Andrew. Our name is I Albert. Oh, I thought you said it was Anthony. I said Albert, you fucking dunce. Sorry, I meant Albert. <laughs> <laughs> it will scold you. Sorry. Sorry, Arnold. <laughs> uh, thank you very much.
child does. My pleasure, little lady. And he gets back on the driver's seat of the cart, mushes and... Oh. I, ima I imagine as he's riding off, we just hear a long... Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All are welcome for Albert. <laughs> well, Lyra's gonna go inside. Is it like an inn or just like. It is a. It's like a hotel, basically. A fancy hotel. Like five star or four star? star. hundred percent. Liar is absolutely overwhelmed yet again. Fall enters inside. What does this hotel look like? Marble floors, very fine furniture made of leather and expensive type materials. The carpet is a very old and just feel soft to the feet of those of who are not wearing shoes. Okay, I just imagine as soon as he puts his head in, he hears like the waltz music, like da na 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 da 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 da. Puts his head out, <laughs> complete silence, head in, music out, silence. <laughs> eh, I don't get that reference, but sure. It's <laughs> like an, it's an all cartoon thing. Yeah. Ew. So. Uh -huh. Y'all and y'all see the same site. It's basically a large like gathering area that is like the center main lobby desk area. Oh, this is very where the carpet leads to is to the main desk where you see uh, the carpet leads off to two branches. One leads to a staircase. The other leads to another doorway. And you see a person behind the desk. Hello. Hi, yes. How may I help you today? A young human woman turns to you. I think we're supposed to stay here. Do you have any uh, reservations under what name? Tinuk Puku Wabansi. <laughs> she basically goes on to essentially fix through her file folder. I imagine yeah. our names is constantly like scratched out because they couldn't spell it right. <laughs> <laughs> The invoice for the emperor. Alright, your rooms all have been paid for. Who may wish to either bunk with each other or bunk in separate rooms? That is up to you entirely. So basically, each of you can have your own private room, or if you wish, two people can share a room. Thank you. I, I like think I will as well. Not the rest of the party. <laughs> that just leads uh, Tom, Gypsy, and Storm. Gungar excitedly looks at the other guys. You want to want a bunk? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yes! High five. High five, Dream Team. What about Ravik? Yeah, solo. Okay. You Everything guys are missing it. And Galahad get dog. Guard Drake stays with you, Aza. Good. <laughs> do they have an issue with like pets? Well, they do not seem to care at all. I mean, there's penguins running around. <laughs> I mean, they let me in. I mean, they're getting paid by the Emperor. Pardon me, Azamar. There is one penguin walking around, and that little motherfucker just got his ass kicked. <laughs> oh, Correction, this God is bad. inside the actual main city. There are no animals. I believe I believe that penguin you tried to suplex it, and it froze you in space. 
and stop you. Moving <laughs> <It's a laughs> You all okay. receive a room key. There are your room keys. You may either take the staircase or take the most recent invention by our archivist over to the side. Great, what? Archivist. I actually don't know what that is outside character. It, well, uh, roll knowledge, history, and gun gear. You have advantage for this. Gun gear. Uh, knowledge of what now? Archivist. But yeah, history. Oh, history. Uh, da, 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 da. It, from my oh, microphone is set. Cat left. Cat left. Oh. Eight. And Storm has a nat 20. Sorry, through my headphones, it almost sounded like you're saying knowledge of mystery. So I was real confused. Cat says BRB. Alright, I cannot control that. <laughs> to this lag knowledge issue. Of Listerine. What would Listerine have to do with this? <laughs> knowledge of Listerine. <laughs> so. Knowledge I'm of Maybelline. Explain this one, cats back in here. The, the archivist is essentially a very well known inventor of like machinery. It's basically a artip. He's basically an artificer hired by the emperor himself to create new inventions for the city to test out. He's a fucking sellout. <laughs> hey, screw you, man. Everyone's gotta make a living. <laughs> oh, I was making a joke. But yeah, basically you could take the staircase or this you can test out this new invention. He calls it an elevator. You know what? Gungir's feeling adventurous. He'll take the uh, he'll take the elevator when Cat gets back. Might as well give it a shot. Oh wait, that's the new invention. Are you actually serious? Ah, uh, but it's more like a teleportation type thing to go from so much more one of a to another circle. Yeah, but it also works a little bit mechanically as well. Again, artificer. have a rival storm. <laughs> oh, please. This boy has no idea what's coming. I mean, technically, he had a rival originally, and then he decided to make it a friend. That's Never so saw it coming. I wonder what happens to Kitty Kids. Rabby, but still. Nasal spray, real quick. Right. I guess we can take a small break while we're waiting for the cat. Uh, so, how are y'all enjoying this session so far? It's not too bad. It's cool. I'm enjoying it. Thank you. We had a trip. We had a trip over here, and. That was neat enough. This, this city was mm. now what I Yum. Like Hopefully when I get to do my campaign, you guys enjoy it. Big map. I wonder how many things there are to do in here. Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> I told Venom a bit about the campaign, and he seems to like the idea. Right, Venom? Okay. It still needs to be tweaked and filler needs to be added, but so far so good. Okay. Hopefully, Cat's friend can help me. 
Honestly, yeah, I'm, like, I'm having that trouble. I'm having that problem. I'm falling asleep sitting up. You should drink more yeah. Arizona iced tea here. <laughs> yeah. It's Not just sponsored, really by the way. Thing. <sighs> Arizona iced tea, please sponsor us. You can have good drinks. She's hmm. probably logging into a different... Uh, Probably get onto her PC since she was on her phone earlier. Uh, her, she wasn't on her phone. She was actually on her uh, kitchen computer. I oh. think she may have had to get off. Otherwise, her parents might have yeah, might yell at her or something. Mm. Oh, whoops! Hit the wrong button. God dang! Why do I have mail on here? That's yeah. just my guess, considering how much of a butt her mother is. Ooh. I mean, my mom's kind of the same case, so I kind of get where she's going at. Mm, yeah. I'm going to enjoy some Pringles, also not sponsored. Can you imagine, though, if that happened? You'd just be watching television one day or YouTube. And they'd be like, Pringles, now a proud sponsor of the Ethereal Plains. And then everyone's just like, wait, what? What? Who the fuck are those guys? <laughs> Pringles, they taste like shit. Unless you sponsor us, they taste great. <laughs> um, like nice Pringles. job, Paul. Yeah, you just blew that one. Pringles. Know, no. <laughs> shoot him. It's cardboard wrapped in cardboard. No, that's the point. You're supposed to say they taste terrible, and but say if you, they'll sponsor you, they taste great. Mm. She like Pringles. No, I don't. I oh. like Pringles too. Oh. oh yeah, I've been meaning to tell you guys. Um, the last school I subbed at, me and a student uh, ended up creating one of the worst X Men in existence. Um, oh boy! So I was subbing the special ed class, and this kid comes in not not really like super special ed, just has trouble reading. But um, he walks on in. And I'm like, "Hey, man, how you doing today?" He's like, "Well, I'm a turtle, so not so good." And I just stop. I look up, and he's like, you're, "You're a turtle?" He's like, "Yeah, I'm a turtle today." Well, how did this happen? And so we ended up getting into this long conversation, kind of uh, figuring this out. Um, we came to the conclusion that um, he was an alligator snapping turtle. And the reason that he was an alligator snapping turtle is because he is a superhero with the ability to shapeshift. But he can only shapeshift it after being eaten by an animal. After which he will explode from its chest as that animal. That and uh, his black. his superhero name is Hippopanamus. <laughs> so uh, his plan was he um, he turned into an alligator snapping turtle after being eaten by an alligator snapping turtle. So that way he could swim to the North Pole. And then get eaten by a polar bear so he could turn into a polar bear. And um, and then he had some mission to do up in the North Pole. We didn't exactly discuss what that was. Uh, but we did come to the conclusion that he wouldn't be able to turn back into a human again. Unless he found some way for a human to trick, like, to trick a human into eating him. So that way he could revert back to his human form. Oh my... So yes, now my my newest favorite superhero is in fact Hippopotamus. Hmm. God, I love being a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, your students might watch. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no, they're really great but kids. That'd huh? be probably a bad idea. Yeah, no, I'm not. I will never direct them to us. If, if anything, I will tell them our tales uh, for entertainment, but I will never, like, I'll tell you what, I'll let them know when they're older, 
Because I don't want those kids being like, I just heard my teacher drop the F-bomb 30 times while playing a D&D game. And then, <laughs> and then Kelly Education calls me up and was like, Mr. Johnson, why are you online uh, talking shit like this? I'll be like, hey, it's just D&D, man. And then I'll get in trouble. So the, my students are not going to be... You know, a part. You could tell of us. It. You could tell them of our escapades of being stupid. Oh no! Yeah, I do. I do, dude. Did uh, Venom? Did you see that picture I uh, I posted? Which one? Um, it's it should be a little later or a little earlier in the chat from like last week. Um, but I told uh, our class our first episode. I basically recounted our first episode, and out of thanks, one of the kids there. Uh, drew me a freaking picture of the characters. What? I didn't see that. Oh, I thought I, I thought I pinned that message. Yeah, let me, uh, where is it? Where is it? I'll I think you guys saw it. it. Uh, I'll pin it in case. Where are you? I have no idea where it is. Um, there's Pikachu. There's episode 14. Piss off, ghost, butters. There it is. There it is. I found it. Yeah, it post. It is pinned now. There we go. It is from a phone or a camera. So yeah, it is- it's it's uh, <laughs> from. What is with Discord and fil- and flipping it horizontally? It can barely see that even with this anyway, yeah you can you can open the original uh, the back hat. and it'll huh. flip it the right Where way did everybody go you're deafened oh, I was deafened yeah hey. who's the one with the wings that is Rav- that's Ravik that's Ravik okay falls the cat right falls the cat uh, <laughs> Azamar is clearly labeled and Azamar. uh uh, Galahad is the one with the hat. Okay, cool. And then Gun Gear's right next to him, the grumpy looking one, because the kid confused <laughs> Gun Gear and Ravik. Whoops. Perfect. But you know what? I don't care because I love this picture and I have it uh, magnetized to my fridge right now. It is like one of my favorite things. And fa- I am curious why, uh, why Glad has a hat. Uh, that's just a hat, obviously. That's just how he drew him. Listen, this was a first grader drawing this, all right? I know, I know. It's still it's adorable. Too much shit. I, I oh. like how in the second one we're playing D and D at a table that's on the ground, and uh, like clearly Storm is actually much smaller than everyone else. <laughs> I, I like to believe that they were like, well, his character is small, so he must be small. <laughs> Compared to everyone else. And the uh, the other picture was from us raiding uh, the uh, bandit camp. Mm. Sorry, Cat, what was that? Did I miss anything? Oh, no. you just randomly no, we started to this, yapping we about to shit. Got back. Hey, sorry about that. Worries. Worries. Mm, what I keep hearing like a do 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 hmm yeah I'm not I hearing hear anything that too. that's just my foot oh, oh. My desk. it's very rhythmic but oh yeah we walked into the uh we walked into the hotel, and uh, they were like, you can take the stairs, or you can take this brand new invention that we have. Mm-hmm. Your on, room is only on the second floor, thankfully. What about my room? Yours is third floor. Fuck the stairs. Takes, <laughs> takes a new invention. How does this thing work? You say key, the key, one of two key phrases: up to go up, down to go down. Up, go up one floor, instantaneously. Okay, up times two. Well, two floors. 
Hey, I'm Whoa. here. Oh wait, actually, <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. Up, down, up, down. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun. Leads and heads <laughs> to my room. By the way, to those of whom who were watching him use the elevator, he instantly vanished as soon as he said up. Huh. Gungir turns and like stares at Glad with wide eyes. What floor is uh are there is their room on? Their, your shared room is on the second floor. Gungir will run at full speed towards this elevator and the, he will jump into the air, and while still in midair, he will shout, UP! And you get teleported oh. instantaneously while in that freefall motion in the exact same position, and you collide into the wall. Does that mean that the people downstairs just heard a <laughs> loud thud? Yeah. <laughs> just a tunk. Followed by Gungir uh, laughing uh, hysterically. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Ah! Yeah, turn that down, whatever that is. Jesus, no, that's loud. Leaf. Anywho, you also hear another thud from the floor. <laughs> so you hear a thud, delay, thud. I imagine just as she came up the stairs, Gungir like appeared and thudded. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were like, what the hell? <laughs> Gungir is like on his back laughing hysterically and as soon as Liar came up uh, Fall appears saying down are you guys okay Fall's gone he went to I'm going to go take a bath I'm going to go take a long hot shower I need to go catch up with uh, Gungir before he, well, before the, the set, what's it called? Sorry, what? <laughs> what's this called? It's called uh, vertical, the uh, name is uh, work in progress. Ah, gotcha. Well, before this vertical, what work in progress consumes Gungir forever? He's only upstairs. Sure he is. <laughs> <laughs> I look inside. I don't the see any stairs. I, there, there is a set of stairs going upstairs as well. But that's not the way Gungir went. <laughs> <laughs> and I slowly oh go God. in and I like he went, he went up, I think. You instantly please. go up and you see gunk here on the floor. <laughs> I want to say, please tell me you said that in the elevator. Yeah. <laughs> ah! And you finished your sentence in the elevator. And and you see gunk here at your feet. Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you done with these two shits? <laughs> Why do I imagine Gun Gear is the type of person who just presses every button on an elevator for? Well, it makes you think he hasn't done that. <laughs> but this one's instant transmission elevators. So you can't prank anybody. <laughs> <laughs> No, you could just do go, going up, down. Gungir will pull himself off the floor and dangle the keys. What else do you think they got in here? Hopefully warm beds. Mm. World may never know. <laughs> what do these hallways look this. like, by the way? Yeah, they're very similar to the first floor. Kind of like white, just plain white walls, a bit of decoration on them. Is there a thing that says, like, uh, what the floors are? Like, if there's, like, an executive thing or something? It tells you room, and then it goes in order 
on the right side, odd numbers on the left side, even numbers. Normal hotel. Mm. Gunger will start uh, heading towards his room. The more fancier type hallways. Paul is interested. He'll go towards the fancier hallways. So you're basically at the fourth floor at this point. Yep. I, s I say uh, down. Everyone Not else the first is floor there, again. Right? No, only the person on that floor will go down. What I meant was like... Did everyone else go up too? No, I Some like people that. went to third floor. Some people on the second floor. Ravik has his room on the third floor, just like Ball. Everybody else has a room on the second floor. Okay, so then I'll. If I don't see anyone, then I go back up and chase after gun gear. Basically, follow him to your room. Basically, he wanted to go say, hey, it's safe. <laughs> no. When you went down, you saw the lobby again. When you went back up, you were back with Gun Gear. All right, Gun Gear. Let's see what else is up here. I'm already at the door. I did that all up fast. He's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking ninja. I I chase after him. We're at room 201. Gun Gear will stick the key into the lock and head on in. It's actually a very large room. It's very spacious for two people. Gun Gear will toss off his backpack, set aside his tool belt, Pull off his big old metal boots, and he will. <gasps> oh, come on, get up! Get up. Uh, jump on the bed! Oh! Correction: Gun Gear goes to jump on the bed, and then slams oh, face man. first into the side. Something. Ouch! <laughs> You sort of like dive bomb the bed, but you completely think that you're going to make it, but you land short and just fall face first onto the floor. <laughs> I, I try to help Punk here up. Please tell me he breaks like, the base floor. of the bed. Oh, there, buddy. Oh no, I know I have the perfect thing for this. Help me get up onto the bed. My legs are too short. I'm going to assist Storm. Okay. Make another acrobatics check to get in the bed. Okay. With a, with advantage, because I helped. Uh, acrobatics. Oh, 17, geez. not bad. And Gun Gear will grab a pillow. And smack you in the face! I instinctively grab my own pillow. What does Fall see <laughs> while walking on the fourth floor? Very is fancy looking hallways. They're more decorated, more elaborate than the lower floors. He'll keep going up on the elevator, checking out the different floors. There's only five floors. Oh, okay. What does the fifth floor look like then? <laughs> Extremely fancy, like for like the highest loot. Every ability. Every room has a fucking butler outside of it. I'll have the same accent as Albert. Hello, sir. They echo down the hall. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Oh, that's really oh, fucked up. Uh, give me a sec. I have a perfect thing for this. Oh, 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 o
Squidge asks, Hello, it's basically sir. an echo of Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Abulus. Azamar and uh, Ravik, what do you guys do anything when you guys get to your rooms? Eh, just gonna rest up. Ergen. Alright. I guess that's where we call it for the night then, unless mm. we hear back. Yep, I suppose so. Did everyone is everyone alright? Yeah, that's Maybe fine. Mm-hmm. Sure. Sure. Dragon's not going to be here next week, so we can at least you have like two weeks to get uh, Venom stuff back up and running to optimum, or at least passable settings. So I can help you out with that. So I guess this is goodbye. And I guess this is goodbye on a video. And thanks for listening to our stupid shit.